Hi, this is Asen. Today I would like to share how to generate an average of A size of the average of B random numbers. We have two main steps here. First is we find the total of B random numbers, then we find the average. After that, we sum all the average, then we take the average for A size. Okay, if let's say we want to allow users to determine the A and B themselves, we can actually form up two input blocks, but I think that this is not good, so I will use user form. To do that, first we go to developer tab, then we click on visual basic, then we click insert user form. Okay, let's say we want to design this user form according to our preferences, we can click on the properties window. If let's say we want to change the title or the name, we can change under here caption. Okay. Generate random number. Okay, we can make it bigger or smaller. Okay, let's say we want to let the user to know what to do, we can add some labels. Okay, change the font and the font size. Generate and average of how many sets of the average of how many random numbers okay pull down then go up okay make it bigger Okay, let's say we want to make this to the next line. Okay, we can press Control Enter. Okay, and this, if let's say we want to leave some space in between, we can press also Control Enter and Control Enter. Okay, if let's say we want to let the user to enter how many numbers that they want, we can insert the text box okay if let's say you want to change the color I can change under here maybe change to yellow okay if let's say you want to maintain the formatting you can copy and paste okay we first format the font first okay then we copy this text box and then paste so that will have same formatting Okay, delete some space. Okay. Okay, after we have finished designing the user form, if let's say we want to insert code in this user form, we can insert a command button. And then when the user press this button, the coding will be executed. Okay, maybe you change the caption. Okay, change to start. Okay, change the font and the font size. Okay, so when the user click this button, the code inside this button will be executed. Okay, we write the code in this button, so we double click on this. Okay, then we type. Okay, before that, okay, we have to know what is the name of this text box. Okay, text box 1 text box 2 okay we will have two numbers here okay we have to remember this idea okay first find the total of the random numbers and take the average after that sum the average then take another average okay so will be first we read the number so use form 1 Okay, dot text box one. Okay, dot value. Okay, we want to read the value. Okay, then the second value, let it be B. Okay, user form. Okay, we have to read, we have to know what is the name of the user form as well. Okay, this is user form four. So, will be four here. 
Okay, then P equal to user form for dot dash box to dot value. Okay. Okay, after knowing all this, we can start to generate the numbers already. Okay, we start from the first set to the last set. So it will be A. Okay, then we have to define sum equal to zero. Okay, then for the for each set, we start from first number to the last number. Okay, so sum will be equal to sum plus random number. Okay, this is the syntax for random number. Okay, then next, J. Okay, this sum is very important because for each set, the total number will be different. Okay, will be different. So we have to, every time we have to initiate the sum with 0. Okay, so for each set, the sum will be equal to zero. Okay, after we finish, okay, after we know the total value for each set, then we can find the average sum. Okay, average sum will be equal to the total value over how many number we need for each set. Okay, then next I. Okay, after that, we already know the total value of the average sum. Okay, what we want will be the average value, means that the final value. Okay, this random number we can use any letters or any, num any words to represent them. Average sum over a okay over how many set do we want okay after that we can prompt out a message box and tell the users the average total number is what okay the average of how many set of of the average of how many each random numbers is okay so is this number a r n Okay, if let's say we did not format this one, okay, by default will be 10 decimal places in, if not mistaken. If let's say we want only 4 decimal places, then we can type format, okay, then we format this number, okay, according to 4 decimal places. Okay, so 4 decimal places here. Okay. And before that, since the uh, user form is already pumped up, remember to unload the user form. Okay, unload user form. This is 4, so we unload user form 4. Okay, we can try and see. Okay, maybe we can insert the code in this command button. Okay, make sure it's design mode. Okay, then we double click on this command button. Okay, then we call the user form that we want. So it will be user form for dot show. Okay, show the user form. Okay, we can try and see. Okay, click. Okay, then we type here. Okay, maybe 10,000. Okay, for each set we want. 1000 okay then that okay so the average of one ten thousand sets of the average of one thousand random numbers is this okay we can try one more time so maybe five thousand fifty thousand then two thousand each 
Okay. If let's say the number is too big, then we'll we'll take some time. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.